Guys, I am signing up for the Open this year. I am so excited. I'm up for the challenge. I want you to be up for the challenge. I want to be a part of something that brings us all closer together. I want to do something that supports uh, CrossFit, the CrossFit Games, uh, the group of us that's out there that believes in personal accountability and personal responsibility. So that's why I'm doing it. See you on the leaderboard. that door closed, please. It's not like I talk about it all the time. <laughs> Jesus. Cute. You did that, Nicole. Someone, someone. That's good. You guys. Lots of jokes. <laughs> but tell me what was going on. Are, did Adler and, and Roman, Roman, what's guys, Roman Krennikov almost getting a fight? Apparently during the run they were bumping pretty hard and Roman's a little upset about it. Really? Yeah. He's like a little feelings hurt. Like not like wants to fight, but like why would Adler be aggressive toward them? And were they and he were they were was it were people saying that Adler was taunting him? I think just by like bumping and talking shit, like intimidating. Really? I don't know. I mean I don't think I wouldn't think that Roman's easily intimidated. Adler's a foot shorter than him. Is he? I mean, it looks like it. Should I leave that on? Do you What's think, that? Do you think he's being a no. pussy? Okay. Sorry, I thought you meant <laughs> when you said it right just now, I had a moment of the, the tall guy. No. <laughs> give me that. I'm going to hit people as we go by. So it looks like I'm doing that. Please, question mark. What would we, what would we do before talk, text or something? We were always How like... people talk before texting? No, no, no. I, well, that's another conversation. I have no idea. They didn't. <laughs> oh, no, they actually did talk. Well, that I would like to go back to. Where is he? Out on North Park. Is he there right now? Yeah. Do we have an extra hat? Yeah, I got one right back. Yeah. Have a fanny pack. She made a. Who made this? It's Anderson Supply Company. It's a lady that hand makes them. Oh, that's nice. And you tell her the patterns, and she does it's like a big camp bag. Yeah, that's nice. What are you doing? Like a little search on her bag now? Yeah. I'm looking to see if she seam taped the seams, which she did, which is good. So you just, it's pretty easy. You just show this the other direction and invert it. Like you turn it yeah. inside out. The hardest part is the shoulder straps. Yeah. That's just a pain in the but that's a really good design. She did a good job. Yeah. And she does like custom orders, so you kind of say what fabrics you want, and she puts it on. The Spirit of the Games trophy, have you guys heard about it? No. I heard last year it was very <laughs> phallic. Colonel, you better take a look at this radar. What is it, son? I don't know, sir, but it looks like a giant. Hey. Same one. I go at a minimum we can do this. We can take a fucking 25 pound plate and Chris can print um, 
you know, on the steel part, yeah. like a, a thing that goes around yeah. it that has some um, spirit of the yeah. games and maybe yeah. some script and give them, that's cool. Or whatever you guys suggest. Let's walk to a plate. What do you think? Um, well, John's here, the guy that did, you know the one that did the thing back of our sub club? No. <clears throat> You saw on the trophies, like the plates. We've got the Johns here. Yeah, you want to think about it? Yeah. Okay. Because otherwise, I'll just have them create something that goes. And maybe we could even have the names or something. How much time do you guys want to think about it? Morning? Yeah. It's like an hour. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll be in here at 8. Now, so. We're definitely not giving them that thing, though, I heard about. What are you what are you reading uh, to kind of clear your mind after all this? Uh, well, currently I'm reading a book called uh, The Phantom. I think it's called The Phantom Warrior. It's a book about the uh, history of David Sterling. He's the creator of the SAS. Yeah. And so I'll finish that. I, whenever I read, I start a book. Yeah. And I don't switch books or leave books. I have to finish a book, even if I don't like it. It's yeah. just my own weird thing. So that's the book I'm on now. So then after that, there's a uh, I don't know what I'm going to read but I'll, I'll read some stuff to clear my mind for sure. I have to pick up Gone with the Wind because I know you had that oh, awesome. awesome review of it. it I've never read it. You're going to so. love it. I promise. Uh, You're going to love it. Uh, I'll do that. Count of Monte Cristo, East of Eden, um, Grapes of Wrath. Um, yeah, Grapes of Wrath is great. Yeah. Uh, what's, the movie, uh, what's the book? Um, Le Mis. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, and The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah, I'll get that, that one to you. Thanks so much, Dave. Dave, who was that guy? Some volunteer who's working really hard, and they suggested I give him a hat because he wanted one. So, gave him a hat. And a, and a reading list? <laughs> I recommended books. They did just a 25 pound plate. And you know the steel part? Mm -hmm. We've done stuff where we print decals that go over that, right? Yeah. Yeah basically print something that could like spirit of the game okay. 2023 you know maybe have some little verbiage maybe when you turn it over it has every spirit of the games on it so now that's one option rogue's also going to take a look to see what they can pull off maybe build something okay. so basically i want you guys to maybe prep the design and prep the printing maybe even print a couple out just as test runs see what you want to, okay so we can come up with something we'll let you see them you can pick which one you want yeah you could even print them you could even print them and apply them i'll get you some plates right now okay but okay thank Sweet. you guys yeah of course and uh put whatever you want on them now and then we'll come back with some feedback but just let's prove the concept okay okay tell chris obviously all yep. right well there you go you got it. so basically you don't want a spirit of the games award that looks like a penis is what you're saying basically yeah you want more, more appropriate for the, uh... Yes. Look at you. You don't have to ask Bill or Katie if you're to take those or anything? <laughs> Probably, but... Here you go, guys. Here. You want another one, or is two going to be enough? Good. Two ought to be enough. Did they win yet? <laughs> two more events, yeah. my friend. Two more. Yeah, I think I have a file system. Yeah, you probably do, right? Yep. Okay. Do you know who's won the Spirit of the Games already? Got a good idea. I've been highly critical of the picks in the past. Why? I just don't think that they have been appropriate. Who do you think would be a good Spirit of the Games this year? a great question. I have no idea. Is it heavy? It looks heavy. Is the whole rope... Do you know how much the rope weighs? No, but it's heavy. She's calling you a hoe. Did you hear that? <laughs> I did. Hey, that's, not, that's not nice. She's, there's, no, there's no proof of that. There's no proof of that. How's your day going? It's good. This is crazy. I can't believe this. I'm happy you're here. Thank you. So what are you trying to do? You guys are pulling this super taut. Yeah, and I think we're going to straighten it out as best as we can. How long have you guys been out here setting this up? Uh, we got here at 7. What time is it? I think it's almost and 8. And were these already out here? Yeah, they set those up last night. Don't fall. 
trying to set the sled. Oh, uh, yeah, it was a little crooked. Hey, do you know how much one of these ropes weighs? I have no idea. <laughs> how long did it take to set this up? It's a great question. Rogue does a really good job. I'm not sure if it was all night or just this morning. So. It looks like an all night project. Well, was it was a, done, this was done before the war meeting, war room meeting. Yeah. A splinter is a splinter, but I think, yeah, the surface is incredible. Do you back any memories? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we had to leave. Yeah, I guess the first one so we got up on this one and left to a second one. Two foot in. There's a one of the scene when it starts to fall through. Oh, the precision. <laughs> yes. Hey, do you guys trip on how hard it is to set up the CrossFit games and the attention to detail? Oh. Uh, my English is bad, so my camera will uh, help you. <laughs> it is so crazy to I mean this is our both first time volunteering yeah and you would never know how much thought they put into it so they have like a drawing that they have and then we try to copy it exactly and if it's an inch off we have to move it an inch it wouldn't no matter if it's like four you pounds would, you or would move all of these ropes one inch if they told you to yes yeah and you see stuff like yeah, that happen like all day yeah <laughs> all day yeah <laughs> Let me sit on it. Thanks. Yes, sir. Damn, Dave's thorough. Thorough. What do you mean? Just that you're asking a guy who's got his eyes completely on the game. So that was, was like that smart. Was my idea. Oh, that, that was, was your idea? idea? That was my idea. Anyway, it was a brilliant move, whoever it was. I don't need to drink anymore to include on like inspiration behind this one because this is. The team cool. or the Indians? The team. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, this, this is some, it's a beautifully non-standard. I mean, it's just fun to have the teams do some big, epic shit. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, definitely. I, I think you can see some interesting things happen with the teams. Yeah. This, this, will, this will, I think this will bring true teamwork to light. We were just, just, but yeah, it'll be great. And it, I do think it's going to be like a, a boat race, basically, right? You're going to see just... Oh, yeah. Slow race over the finish. Teams selling out, mm -hmm. exhausted. It's going to be cool. And it'll be great. Like, it's always fun. I know the cuts are tough on the athletes that don't make it. Um, but it does allow us to do things like this where we have massive events where all 20 athletes, in this case, all 20 teams are competing at once. Right. It's pretty cool. You don't get to do that very often. No. So. Yeah. Why don't I take it? Jordan holds out? Yeah, you gotta, can you take that? Jamie, is it okay if I film this? Have it if you want. Yeah, yeah. Is that, uh, you didn't bring a bagel for me? You can have it. I'm so sick of food. You're so sick of food? Right, so, nothing bad overnight? No, slept like, okay. just, yeah, just, yeah, slept okay. It's all much the same. Like, it got sore, obviously, after it yeah. cooled down. How's that? That's, it's sore, that's probably the sorest point. Yeah, yeah. All right. That's good. So, it feels good. Yeah. Yeah. It's good uh, probably if we weren't doing muscle ups. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so um, you know, it feels like you you tweaked it. Probably have a yeah. partial partial tear of that. Okay. Um, Brought on these in here. Yeah, the the ligament on the inside. Yeah. So uh, you just be careful. There are some elbow sleeves. Yeah. I don't know if uh, you have access to I've any got of some it. as got... well. All right. What would be worthwhile? That's kind of not much, but there are some, ath you know, white athletic tape. We have trainers, athletic trainers, that could give you a little more support. I, th yeah. I think that I would I would want you to. We can get somebody here to do that and yeah. have you warm up with that and see to give you some protection. Yeah. It's tough because it's. Around the joint, so. But I think it's that the lockout, yeah. That's the. That yeah. So, so what do we got? Muscle ups. Yeah. Um. I would say, and that so you know, overhead that could give you a little tweak. The and hanging. The hang, right? If you're and and the swing. Yeah. Um. 
you usually, you usually are you gonna be you're gonna be cycling your muscle up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I would say that would be part of the issue. Yeah. And then uh, the dip, not not so much, but I'd say more of the the swing. Yeah. But that's kind of stresses that on the inside. Yeah. Well, let's you know we'll uh, get some tape and we'll get you. What, what's your timing on on stuff? What do you? Um. So we've got the brief now. We've got time after the brief. Yeah, okay. and then the girls. So will I'll get in. a trainer here. We'll get you taped. And we'll see how you. Do they, they have rings up here? Um, Jamie, what happened? Uh, I just tweaked my elbow in one of the snatches last night. So, Did you feel it? Yeah. I just sort of landed and it just like crunched a bit. You, like, wow, crunch. Just, just sort of like overextended and yeah. Did it hurt? Yeah, a bit, yeah. But um, yeah, it's one of those things, just sort of dived under the bar and. My body was obviously very tired, and yeah. Uh, throb, is it throbbing at all? No, 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 no. It's not like, it's not that bad. It's just that you kind of need your elbow, especially for muscle ups and things like that. So it's just a bit irritating. And also, it's just like, like you said, it's probably a partial tear, and it's like, what's the risk versus reward? Do you try and finish the CrossFit Games and potentially fully tear it, and then you're out for longer, or? You know, it's like, what's what's next on the agenda? What's the most important thing to you right now? I know one thing, I don't want to go through another surgery for either of us, so. Yeah. Yeah, so. I've done that anymore. Yeah. I do not need to see that anymore. It's not worth that. I don't um, think. Is pulling out an option right now? Or are you contemplating it? It's a possibility, isn't it? I think we'll do the brief, we'll get her taped up. We'll see how she feels after she's warmed up thoroughly and maybe swung on the rings. And I'm not going to make the call, only Jamie can make the call, so. It's hard now, it's like the line between coach and wife, uh, husband, sorry, yeah. coach and husband, well, wife, whatever, I don't mind. Ah. Call me wife. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, but yeah. So yeah. you're just gonna take it out for a little test ride this morning and yeah. then make the decision. And then say, yeah. What place are you in right now? Uh, 11th, yeah, so I dropped back. So after all that, I should've just sandbagged the bloody snatch yeah. anyway. But whatever. And and also probably the next three workouts are probably really good for you too, right? Yeah, I like I'm so gutted because I love muscle ups, but you know, that's what it is. You're here. I'm here. Yeah, I made it. Yeah, Squeaked feeling, in. Yeah. Yeah, you feeling good? Yeah. yeah. Woke up feeling not too bad, so excited to go for this next one. When you uh, finished the snatch event, did you know that you made it? I wasn't sure, just because the snatch went pretty bad, um, but I knew it'd be close. <laughs> And they were taking forever to update the points. I just asked my little brother to do the math, and he was pretty much right on. So yeah, <laughs> made the made dinner a little easier. Yeah. Ultimately, it was Sam next to me that he missed his final lift, and that was like the guy that I needed to beat in the total. So yeah. The other we, Sam. Yeah, the other Sam. Yeah, <laughs> hey, and, and you're he, out of reach. <laughs> and he was playing some head games with you, right? Over there? Afterwards, he, he said he was like... I started it. Yeah, oh, you did got, start it? Yeah. Oh, oh. So I saw that he... I, so you were playing some head games with him. Yeah, I had a pound less loaded, and then I saw that he was a pound more, and then I slapped that on before my turn, and then as soon as I hit that, he slapped on another pound, and then I did the same thing on the back end to him, to the clean and jerks. And paid off on the clean and jerks, so... So the guy in the platform next to you was the guy you had to beat? Yeah. And you beat him? Yep. By one pound? Two pounds? Um, by... By 20 something pounds. Okay. Yeah, like 20, 22 or 23 pounds with the clean and jerk. Did so. you guys talk about it afterwards? Yeah, we did. We, we, we talked. It was, it was good banter. It was fun. Here you are. I, here I am. I made it. <laughs> How was that? How was the snatching? Oh, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for a barbell and played to my advantage, so we're still here. Live another day. What place are you in? Oh, 20th. <laughs> right. So, did you know after the snatches? Or, or did you have to wait for the leaderboard? I had to wait for the leaderboard, and I knew it was going to be tight. And when I finished the event, Whitney's like, you were in 20th going into that. And I was like, really? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm like, hopefully, you know, I, I was like, I think it's enough to keep me exactly where I am. I don't know if it's enough to move me up or move me down, but it's really going to depend. And, like, I think the girls, like, this, it was like 17, 18, 19 I had beat, but the girls 21, 22, 23 had beat me. So it was like... We might just stay exactly where we are. We have no idea. Um, but yeah, it was great. <laughs> How many points were you in 25? I think like yeah. I think like 25 or something like that. It was it was enough. It wasn't like one or two points. It was quite a, enough. So 
that was good because we were kind of on the edge of our seat, like uh, waiting for the re leaderboard to refresh, and we were like, oh, we're, we're good, we're fine. <laughs> Did you um, come close to any PRs in the snatch or the clean? No. <laughs> oh, okay. I was about 10 pounds off on the clean and jerk, and then I guess I, tr I attempted four pounds under my max snatch, and I missed it, but yeah, it was still it was still good enough. So it was, my the one I made was was like 12 pounds under my max snatch. So 10 and 12, I guess pretty close, yeah. Uh, what was it like out there? Were you, oh, were you happy or were you disappointed? I or? was super happy. Mm. I was super happy. I finished my last lift thinking like this was this could be the last time I compete at the CrossFit Games like in Madison or ever. You know, you never know what could happen. So it's like, you know, that's kind of how I was finishing. It was like just really happy. I did a little twirl at the end and just <laughs> had a great time. <laughs> Tried to soak it in. Did you know yesterday um, Andrew Hiller posted a picture with your boyfriend and thought it was Jack Harlow? That was hilarious. That was so funny. Yeah, for after he, I saw him talking to him and I was like, do you know him? And he's like, no. And he's like, he was talking about my lifts and he's like, I'm like, he thinks you're somebody else. I'm like, I think And your boyfriend thinks... didn't correct him? No, he That's didn't awesome. say anything. That's he didn't awesome. say anything. Yeah. He said nothing. I'm like, he thinks you're, I think he thinks you're Jack Farlow and he thinks I'm like, I, he thinks like maybe he got confused with Emma and like, which I don't look like Emma, but... I don't know. I, that was hilarious. And then later he saw him again. He's like, I just realized you're not Jack Marla. You're, you're freaking like. We were busting him at dinner so hard. He's like, look, I got this photo with Jack Marla. We're like, I'm like, dude, I just met that dude in the lobby. That's Jelena's boyfriend. It's like, no, it's not. We were dying. Yeah, we were like. We were dying. We were a little confused. That was pretty funny. It's good that fun stuff like that still happens. <laughs> And finally, he's going to do his last round. All right, so how, was the, how was the night? What's up? How was the night? Just focusing on what we can control, you know? Putting, putting our mind on uh, nutrition, recovery, wake up, nutrition, supplement, and being everywhere on time, you know? Uh, now we put the game plans together for, for this workout that we just saw. Yeah. Uh, and uh, how, how, how are you at its uh, headspace? You know, it's, uh, you know, every, every athlete handles it a little bit differently. Um, get themselves game ready. Um, and then we're there to help assist it. How are you? Good, how are you? Okay, trying to sip my coffee. It's too hot. Let's take a brand new cup. From our sponsors. Yeah. Showtime, huh? Showtime, go time. Basically, Three events. Basically, it's a film. Basically, a tie. It, it can move a lot today. Yeah. Because of the point spread, so the leaderboard is probably going to switch up a bit. How are things between um, Jeffrey and Roman? I heard that there was some tension at the run. That there was some jockeying. And... Jeff was trying to push him. Yeah. Yeah, and get it in his head. Yeah. So Roman said it. He didn't get in his head. I think he did. But ideally. Um, but that was good. That was a good event for Roman too. Yeah. So. But it sounds like he did get in his head. Were they were they actually talking out there? Uh, I think on the camera I saw him talking a little bit, like he was trying to like push him along and yeah. like. But at some point they just like they were running. Do, do, uh, do you think that he got in Roman's head? Uh, I don't know what kind of athlete Roman is. It's, it's hard to tell, and it's hard to know. Um, so yeah, we'd have to ask him. Is Jeff having fun? Yes. Ish. Yeah? They're all banged up. <laughs> that part is not fun. Do you, do you talk with him? Did you talk with him last night about winning? Do you guys like be like, hey... We've been talking can... about it for weeks and months. Like, that's been the goal of the whole season. So last night, not really. Like. We found out this event last night, so we talked about it a little bit, but without the details of the flow and all of that, we kind of wait to have all the information before we make like a solid game plan. The goal is just to execute. Like His fitness level is where he is. He can't push more than what he has. He just has to be at the limit, so that's going to be the goal today for every event. Because only not everyone on the list can talk about winning. Like, there's just yeah, some people yeah, yeah. just... But I mean, he, there's the, with the point spread, it's and that's his what, to lose, kind of actually, right? He's kind of in control. Of he's his own in destiny. a good position. Yeah. He's, he's in the best position he can be for today. Yeah. Um, 
but there's a lot of points and things can move quickly today. Like that's a good event for Pat. Like Pat could win. Right? And it's five points every spot that you go down. So Pat can come back up. Like and it it's still very doable. So that thought you just had about Pat, is that something you don't share with him? Oh no, we talk about everything. He oh, knows. So like, he knows the reality. He, he's, of it, yeah. he's very aware of the strengths and weaknesses as much his own as everybody else on the field. Like he knows that's a good event for Pat. There's no reason why Pat can't win this. Maybe somebody else. Like there's competitors that we know more about because they've been competing for longer. Uh, but he's very aware of everyone's ability. Take this with you. Yeah, but do we need anything else? Take all your gear, isn't that what John told you? After control, take no. all your gear okay. with you. I'm sure you so did. Like I just heard anything, it. just in case of anything. Take all your gear oh with you because we're not coming back yet. She's gonna carry like three bags for no reason. Coach yeah, like coaches like a four foot tall woman. You come carry the bag. Hey, that's a beautiful piece of equipment there, huh? Angel. Yeah, they're not bad. I'll give it, give it to you at the end if you want. I've got a couple of them. I think they were just checking that they were all spinning fine, so that nobody had like a bum rope. But it's nice, good touch. Quality control. That's right. Is it just for? Uh, um, uh, is it theatrics, or they really care? I don't know, man. You tell me. <laughs> Also, like, do you, like, do we have to bring? Because we're not going to come back when we go to Northfield. We're there. We're gone for the day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I was like, what do we need to bring? And he's like, you got to bring stuff. anything. All your stuff. So it's like, what, am I bringing like two belts, lifters, knee sleeves, like whatever? Yeah. And we're just not going to use them. He's just like, that's okay. I can help make carry work. things. A lot of make work. Hey, Michelle, I don't know Pat's so good, but I like what I see this morning. He is fiery and yeah. ready. You, when Pat is, this, is angry. Is this a good, do you like what you're seeing? I mean, he <laughs> doesn't seem like a guy, he's looking all the energy for him. Yeah, often. well, like he said at the beginning, like, he's used to being tired and broken down. But he feels good now. It's in, he's in his element. Yeah, he's really good today. Yeah, really Everybody good. Everybody else is tired. <laughs> um, Those Pat, feet are walking really slow. Pat, you, not every, it's the final day and not everyone's in striking distance. You are in striking distance, uh, doing great things. Do you do you think about that? Yeah, you can't not. I know the people I need to keep behind me, but you can't really let it affect too much, right? Like you still have to execute things as good as you can do them. If you overreach and blow up, it's not going to do you any favors. I did that earlier this week, and that's the only reason I'm not sitting pretty right now. So, which workout was that? Alpaca. Um, did you hear about any drama between Adler and Roman on the run? Well, I saw them jawing at each other for a while. You did? Oh, yeah. Jeff was talking to Roman for like a lap and a half, just like trying to wind him up and get him to go faster and blow up. It was pretty <laughs> funny. Frankly, I think Jeff could have won that run if he wasn't didn't spend a lap and a half talking. Really? Hell, yeah. Did he um, Did he touch Roman? Uh, I don't know. He might have given him a little slap on the back or something, but nothing like okay. serious. So it was all fun and games? Yeah. Well, I think it was gamesmanship. I don't think it was fun for Roman. I think it was fun for Jeff because he knew he was the better runner. And did you have fun watching it? It was entertaining well, for about a lap, and then I was starting to not feel so good. So I was not really paying <laughs> as much attention after that. So, uh, Are you okay with that type of, uh, you know? Like, should there be rules? Like in tennis, like you're not allowed to talk. You okay with some talking? Uh, I think it's fine. There's not a lot of events where you can do it anyway, so it's funny. It's fine. Not, it, like... Whatever, that's sports. I think it's great. We do it behind the scenes most of the time. You know that. Ça fait penser à Rogue l'année passée, Rick Mosolop, Run, Goblet Squad. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Luke and you want to hear some secrets? Always yes. Know. Always secrets. Congratulations, dude. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Great job. Lulu says all the secrets. Yeah. He just told BKG thank you. Yeah. I, I just pressed BK arm and thanked him because if he would lift, he usually outlifts me. 
uh, I would be 21st. <laughs> so, you know, everything played out yesterday. Uh, Good for me, you know. What was wrong with him? Is he he's wounded? Uh, I think squat something with uh, squatting. Wounded. <laughs> yes, hips. And, and, he, back, and, I and back also, I think so. But maybe he will be fine in this workout. He is not sure, you know, about it's still 200 pounds and back. Is yeah. he still in it? Yeah, he he's still in it. Yep. Who was 21st? Moritz. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, Martz. Yeah, he got fourth place in lifting and almost catch it up, but almost. How many points did you make it in by? Uh, by five. Five points. Yeah. So two spots in a workout. Two spots, basically. Yeah. Close. Good job. Great job. I'm stoked for you. Cuts. You gotta love the cuts. No more cuts. Make it exciting. I can relax. He's got top 20 in the world, no? Oh, Maybe. yeah. I can only go up, you know. <laughs> you can't go up, yeah. <laughs> We're going up today. Today, I can't go lower. So. What did you finish last year? 21st. Oh, it's better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You are better than last year already. Of course, I am. <laughs> <laughs> like anyone. So, someone said, oh, may he, Roman's not a mayhem athlete. He just trains at mayhem. And I call bullshit on that. Is that bullshit? Yep. Yeah. Kunda coaches him every day. Yeah. I talk to him every day, actually. You do talk Twice, to him every maybe. day? Yeah. yeah. Roman is very and, methodic. And, well, hold on a second. Sorry. Is, is Facundo a real mayhem coach? <laughs> yes. Okay, okay, fine. Okay. <laughs> I like you to think to us. Yeah, you got it. You, yeah. you, like, you, you can't be like Facundo's his coach and I not check Facundo's no, no, credentials. No, no, no. Let me see in your wallet. You got a, a card that says uh, uh, mayhem. <laughs> I do have my, my parking badge. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. Sure. Yeah. Are there parking badges no, for mayhem? No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh. The only one that parks the, 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 his car in the same place is Rich. There's a place for Rich. Why, why would someone say that? Why would someone say that he's not a mayhem athlete? People say dumb things all the time. Okay. Fair enough. Who said it? Who I said it? I think someone maybe on my podcast. I, think, I don't know. Yeah. I don't really care. Maybe it was, it's all good. I don't want to say who it is because maybe I'm wrong. No, no. But, Roman, I, but we, we got into it a little bit. I'm like, Roman is a mayhem is athlete. He, um, he, he trains every day at mayhem. He does our programming. Um, he uses your coaches. Yeah. Um, he goes every day. I walk back there twice a day, check on him, at least, actually a handful yeah. of times. Work in, walk out, check, make sure he's good. Trains with Vic and Luke a good bit too, and Mayhem Logan. athletes and Logan. And get to Mayhem. And oh, yeah, Logan's Logan's kind of his training partner, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Logan's a staple at Mayhem. Yeah, right? yeah. And yeah. Uh, same as Victoria, but sometimes he comes, he sees Rich having a coffee, he says, Coach, this is what I have to do. Good, not good. Yes, he does. Good, do Roman, that. go for it. <laughs> okay, Coach. No, no, no. He's, and I think he's very, very happy uh, uh, in Cookville. He, I, I don't think, I know he, um, he's uh, having a, a great time there. I heard that there was some uh, huh, huh, huh. tension yesterday, that um, Jeffrey Adler was uh, chatting with him quite a bit on the run. Um, I think that, uh, well, Roman is a very serious guy. He's very focused at the moment, like everybody else, and maybe... Um, he has a humor that is um, very serious and related to the task that he's doing here. And I'm not sure whether he appreciates things that are outside of the scope of training or, you know. The, the problem also, if you are not English speaking and your English is not fluent, you don't have a way to communicate that person that maybe. Is I'm that, not having fun now. Is that true that Jeffrey Adler fucked with him? That I don't know. That you, you just Roman. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't around. Do you, do you, have you heard anything? Mr. Nothing different nothing. than what you heard. Well, just nothing different than what I heard? Yeah. Good morning. Ah, good morning. How are you feeling? Great. Very good. Well, what are you fucked it up? Yeah, leg in the 90 minutes. Right now I'm just chilling. <laughs> you want to fuck it up mode down yet? No. Okay. Did they announce the next workout? No. Just the next one, not the other one. Did you okay? Yeah, very good. You have a hard time sleeping during game three? Not really, not this year, no. What did Lori say to you? She told you to put your big boy panties on and go talk to her. Really? Yeah. She asked if you were scared of her. What did you tell her? Probably. <laughs> I am scared of her. <laughs> you are. I know you are. Oh, uh, okay. Tell okay. me how it goes. Okay. I'm gonna, so I, I I'm gonna go watch to see if your tail is between your legs when you come back. Okay, I'm gonna warm up with Colton Martins. I'm gonna go talk to Laura. <laughs> Do All it. Right. All right.
Mr. Mertens, what's up, buddy? How much? How's it going? Good. How you do? Are you living up to your expectations? Are you exceeding your expectations? Are you yeah, I mean, suicidal because you're not in first? <laughs> or are you, what, what's the deal here? Uh, I tried not to put any like performance expectations um, for this weekend. I feel like mentally it's just too draining. Better to focus on just like whatever's inside my control. It's like my preparation, my effort, and like, my main goal. Like honestly, for this week was like I wanted this to be like a traumatic kind of experience. Just like wanted to push so hard and like put my body through it, and my mind through it, and suffer on the events and so like that was kind of the main goal coming in you wanted to have a traumatic experience yeah i wanted to like a goal that's within myself and just um i knew if i pushed that hard on every event and like left it all out there every single time then that'd be the best that i could do and so that kind of became the goal and i'm driving back home tomorrow morning i just want to be sitting in the car thinking like what the fuck just happened this weekend so I think I'm on track for that <laughs> definitely feeling it but um I probably I feel better today than I did yesterday actually I think the first two days were pretty pretty hard on the body and then recovered a little bit yesterday so I'm excited for today I have to ask you again did you talk to your dad last night yeah on the phone oh, yeah <laughs> oh yeah tell me tell me tell me what can you show um it was pretty short he just um Asked me if I made the cuts, so he wasn't sure um, how many people got through the final day and whatnot, and just said, like, good job, and I mean, it's pretty short, maybe 30 seconds or so. And Did he tell you he loved you? Uh, no. <laughs> Did he tell you he's proud of you? No. He'll, he'll tell me when I get home, but no, not last night. <laughs> Did he tell you any, like, domestic problems, like, back at the house? Like, hey, dude, you left your bedroom door open, or... Hey, did your house is leaked? Did he? No. Did he bother you with any of that stuff? Hey, <laughs> what should I do with your mail? <laughs> no, he didn't. No. Nothing like that, and didn't no. give me any update on the winter dog. So hopefully, no news is good news. And oh wow, behaving hopefully. So like maybe one died, but he didn't want to tell you. Like he ran it over with the car or something. <laughs> That's honestly been like in the back of my mind. I'm like, if he killed one of them, he's not gonna tell me. He's not get back home. <laughs> so let's see. But I think it's been going good. How about anyone else in the family? Your mom, your uh, mm -hmm. brother, have they called? Uh, I talked to my mom uh, last night. I uh, haven't really talked to anybody else, so just kind of leave my phone alone and focus on nutrition, recovery, getting to bed at a good time in the evenings, kind of decompressing. Are you and Ali sharing a bed on, when you travel like this? <laughs> yeah. You do? Dude, the, last, or the other night... I kick she, someone out. I wouldn't allow that shit. I think I need to, cause she <laughs> like was tossing and turning, and like in her sleep. And at one point, she like flung her arm over and like hammer fisted me right in the nose in the middle of the night, like hard. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I gotta deal with. Do you say something to her? Yeah, I was like, "Ow!" She goes, "Sorry." She went back to sleep. Handcuffs, handcuffs, <laughs> yeah. help her. <laughs> hey, guess what? Hi, Savan. Hi. I heard you. I, I didn't hear actually. My brother told me. He asked Mariah, yeah. like, are you here because Savan doesn't dare to come here? And she said yes. But I just went over there and I bought some big boy panties. Oh, nice. Yeah, just, you need those. And I just put them on. Good. Mariah just came up to me and she goes, oh, put me in a pussy, put on your big boy panties and go talk to Laura. She's like, yeah. I'm like, I'm dying to talk to Laura. Uh, is Adam Clink really your coach? Or is Ben Smith <laughs> I, I your heard coach? You, I heard who, you. Is, who is the coach? Who is the mastermind behind The mastermind? I don't know. There's not one person you can identify, but if there is one, that would be Ben. Benjamin. And, and how did you gravitate towards uh, Krypton? You know, it's just like a magnet. It pulls you in. Yeah. The community there, the people, the atmosphere, like everything is just very nice. You think you have a similar um, attitude like him? Kind of like yeah, he's kind of like a little bit of I think we're the same person, but he's a dude and I'm a girl. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right, all right, fair enough. But I guess people figured it out. Like, it's we're pretty similar. And uh, we're in the final day. Yes. And... Um, 
there's you, this uh, seasoned warrior. <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but okay. And then there's uh, Emma Lawson. Yeah. Only She's been crushing it so far, but it's time, it's time for me to crush it again a little bit. We'll see how today turns out, but I'm going to do everything I can. You, are you, you seem fired up. Good yeah, headspace. Yeah. I like this muscle up workout. It's like 36 muscle ups. At Krypton, we usually do like 60 a day, so I'll be fine. Um, when you come to the games, do you, do you feel like um, like you kind of you have some ownership here? You've been here enough times to where you're like, yeah, this is this is like I'm home. Uh, I don't no, I don't think so. I think you feel a little more comfortable, not as intimidated at the beginning, but I don't think it's ownership. Like I don't own anything here. I'm just here to partici participate. You just feel I think more comfortable in the environment. Uh, are you the fittest, Laura Horvat, that's been to the CrossFit Games? Definitely, yeah, I would say so. How old are you? I'm 26. Woo! Yeah. You're still so young. How many games have you been to? Five and a half. What happened? Only 0.5? Yeah, the online thing didn't count, so basically five. Oh, the 19 thing? No, the 20 thing. Oh, the 20 The thing. online okay. part. What do you call? The what? The online one. You know, they had the online games. And then there was oh, five. Oh, at online, the end. online. I thought you were saying 09. No, 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 online. I mean, English is my second language. 09, I didn't know what cross it was. Yeah. Uh, and so, how, how long were you training at Krypton before the games? I was there for um, two months ish. I flew out right after my semifinal. And is Ben sending your programming all year? Uh, Pretty much. Do you know he hurt himself? I know. On the clean and jerk. Does that concern you? Uh, not anymore. I did a little bit, but I think he's fine. He's a big boy. <laughs> good talk. Very good. Yeah, go find someone else to bother now. <laughs> Uh, are you a? Are you, do you ever donate to charity? Unfortunately, uh, no, I don't no. think so. Not like not money, but no. other things. Yes. Just like this conversation. This yeah. Is, this is no, a little charity. This, this is no. a little charity. No. Giving me. <laughs> hey, uh, this environment. Are you? Are, do you thrive in this environment? Like, is part yeah. of you like, yeah, this is it. I'm here with the savages. I'm gonna. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, it's a good environment to be in. Yesterday in the weightlifting competition, I saw you talking to yourself while you're Did out you? on the floor. Yeah, yeah, I do that when I lift usually, and or before I work out. Yeah. Are you? What language are you talking in? Hungarian. And what are you saying to yourself? I can't tell you. I can only say it to myself. Are you? Are you talking to yourself, or are you talking to someone else? Something? To myself. Yeah, I'm like talking to myself. So it's it's more along the lines of like, yo, bitch, you better lift this. Not, dear God, help me. No, it's like, it's not dear God at all. It's like, I got this, I'm strong enough. Like, I can do this. You know, where did you pick that up? Well, it just came naturally. Self-talk helps. Slide right on. Okay. Who's, uh, who's, who's the best person um, of all the people who interview you and talk to you? Who's the best? Definitely not you. But I not understand. the other people either. I don't really like camera people, to be honest, you know? Why? I don't know. Don't you want some attention and notoriety? No, and thank like you. I don't love the cameras. I just want to be here, compete, but and then about, leave. But how about some documentation of your efforts? Well, you can do that. I don't have to talk to you. You can just watch me do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. God, I love you. Hey, um, are, do you play hard to get in your entire, every, in all aspects of your life? I don't know. That's a bad question. Don't ask me. Ask the people who are trying to get me. Yeah. That's, that's the I have best to take a picture of this because her. she said she would not give an interview to someone. What, what? Say that again? I had to take a picture of her oh, giving an interview to you because she yeah. said she's not going to give an interview to, to you. In. She was very nice to me. Oh, I feel like you can retire now. <laughs> like, I feel like that was like the <laughs> holy grail of interviews for you. With your uh, in the she's hand. very nice. Hey, what was it like growing up with her? Was she, was she, is she a tough cookie? Yeah, for sure. She's a family yeah. favorite. <laughs> My dad's favorite, for sure. Did she ever beat you up? No, no, no. But you we, we fought, did you ever beat him up? But I was, I was always bigger, so that was not a problem. Yeah. 
but we did not we clashed a lot I think she followed me around because that's what little brothers and sisters do oh she's the younger than you yeah 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 for sure oh. yeah we get she seems three. so mature she seems like and he like, doesn't right yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. I am mature <laughs> I mean not I'm like mature. her <laughs> yeah I couldn't no, believe she when was she said she's 26 she's how old do you think he is I don't know 24 no 29 oh she's like a real adult she is no, it was annoying because... Like, she writes checks and shit. <laughs> yeah. I think, I, I, think I, I think, like, another year or two, if, like, I come back, I think I can graduate. her. What would be the one I thing that you want to ask her, but you don't want to ask her? I already, I already, she said <laughs> that she wouldn't tell me what her self-talk was, and then I just circled around the backside. Yeah, she told okay. me her self-talk That's was. the one question you wanted? <laughs> no, I don't no. have any questions. No. If you could ask her any hey, question, I, what would you ask her? I don't know, I just can't believe I had to... <laughs> you just uh, blank. You just blanked out during that interview, didn't Mariah you? Mariah just came over to me and she's like, "Hey, quit being a pussy. Put on your big boy pants and go in the boy and read Laura." Oh my god! All right. You're saying I look old? Her, de- her demeanor. Yeah, like she looks like she carries a purse with like a checkbook and pens in it and shit. <laughs> you know what a checkbook is? Like you know, like old people write checks. Last time she was in the States and she got a check from someone. Yeah. And she was like, I don't know what to do with this. Oh. She couldn't believe it. Yeah. I go, I go, who's the best interviewer? She goes, not you. <laughs> <laughs> I think she likes Mariah. And, then, and she told me to leave. I stayed. She, yeah. I was like, I work too hard to sit down right here. There's no fucking way I'm leaving. She's going to have to push me. You should. That was, hey, that's the kind of the highlight of my week so far. I'm a, little, I'm a little high I'm from it. Yeah. yeah. I'm happy. You know, like I got some moldy, I ate some moldy cheese or something. I'm feeling a little like weird. Yeah. yeah, your stomach a little bubbly. And I'm just like, like yeah, I'm just a little. Might have to take a shit now. I don't, yeah, I'm a little high. <laughs> hey, did you guys hear about what's going on between Roman and Abba? No. Tell it, spill That's, the gossip. Yeah, I, love I mean, it. obviously they're close on leaderboard, but I guess Adler's just been jawing at him the whole week, and it's getting under. Uh, well, but he doesn't understand what's he saying. So yeah, they yeah, don't he, know. Yeah, but I guess the he whole just hears run, him talking. Yeah, he just hears him talking. I guess just the whole. I guess the run. He's just talking shit to Roman. No way. On the rower, and they were, I guess they were rowing. He's talking shit to him. We need that in the sport. And I dude, like that. We I need love it. it too. We need I like it. That. And I guess Roman's getting pissed, and like, and people are like, "Hey, it's not cool. He doesn't speak English." It's like, dude, who gives a fuck? Yeah, yeah, talk, yeah I like it's a little bit of trash talk. I like that. They're like, "Well, he's just trying to get in Roman's head." I'm like, "He's not trying." Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, he's living there now. Yeah, right, after, right, after right. yesterday. Yeah, because right, right. he was leading by 100 and now some it's like points, what, right? 20 points, and not even 15. 13. Yeah. Adam, why, why don't you compete? Why don't I? Yeah. Or do you? Because I got a full-time job now oh. outside of coaching. Coaching, oh. like, when coaching is your full-time job, like, you can still train. But now I have, like, a 9-to-5 desk job. You say you got a real job now. I got a real job. I <laughs> got a big boy job. What do you do? Uh, I work at Bear Performance Nutrition. I'm the director of partnerships and community. So I oversee a lot of different things. Bear Performance Nutrition. Nutrition. Supplement so, company. So, oh, okay. So it's a, it's a cross. It's a... It's in the ecosystem, the CrossFit ecosystem. Yeah, and yeah, like we don't. In the fitness ecosystem. In the fitness ecosystem. Yeah, yeah, okay. And we sponsor. That's kind four, of a job. Four or five CrossFit athletes, so obviously we're here. Yeah, that's not. I thought like you had like a real job, like garbage man or architect or painter or some shit. It's that's not like, a real job. Yeah, why is that not a real job? Because you're still in your ecosystem. Like you didn't. You, like, <laughs> yeah, you I didn't know step what I mean. It's, it's like fun. Yeah, I like, just got. I got different hours. I yeah. got two kids. Yeah. And like I'd been to semifinals plenty of years before and like I know the time it takes yeah and I just don't have the time so I just run now you do you just run yeah I'm running 100 miles wow got something do you have a Laura Horvath sticker yeah I do I'll give that to you this is a Gabby one. Oh, that's awesome where are your stickers I do it's on the size of the Yeti bag like in the inside thing. Inside, 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 inside. I'll stick this on the camera. I can give you her passport as well. I have 30 seconds. You have 30 seconds? Yeah. Thank you. What? I don't have stickers. <laughs> Tell me about it. I don't have time. I'm too busy putting on my big boy panties. I give you a bunch of them. Oh, thank you. There you go. 
All right. See you soon. Round one. What do you mean round one? That was our first interview of, yeah. of five today. Five? Yeah. One and none. That's it. Going well. Oh, let's do it. That was good. Yeah. yeah. It's cool because we do that exact thing and warm up every single day, and they gave it all to us in one event, so it was nice. No shit. Yeah. yeah. The event was your warm up. The event was yeah, a warm up. We do the carries, we do the pulls, we do all that every single day, so it was good. Yeah. Crazy. Now we just got one more. One more fight, and I got that fight left in me. So. You guys do have that fight left. In we you? have yeah. that fight left in us. For sure. If anything, we got more fight after that. That just pumped us up even more. So. God, I'm so happy for you guys. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you. We appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. You, you don't have to be like pressing. Yeah. Right? yeah. So we just move through it. Have some breath, fun. Enjoy the Coliseum. Yeah. Right. You're still gonna work your ass off. Yeah. But you don't have to do anything that you're not comfortable doing. Exactly. Uh, you guys said I've had a bunch of you on the podcast. Yeah. And you guys said you guys were going to win the game, yeah. so that was the goal. That was the goal. Uh, Is it a trip? I mean, we got one more event, but it's looking good. CJ, you must hear that all the time. At least once a month, some Yahoo comes in, looks like Jorge, and he's like, I want to win the game. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. I get it. go to the game. You get a lot of people that want that. It's awesome. I love their motivation, and uh, we just have to make sure we communicate an appropriate timeline for their journey. How did these Yahoos do it? These guys have been working their butts off for years, not just this year, Absolutely. not just the last few months, but it's been years in the making. Yeah, yeah. One more. Um, you're Thanks, buddy. Excuse me. I'm oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, need you need a different wristband. You need a different wristband. Hey, we'll take them all. We'll take them all. No. <laughs> Bye, guys. You got a great attitude. I try. Good Thanks. to see you. When was your first game? There's other things in life, right? Like no, this, no, we're, we're no. Out there. Don't get carried we away. Are, Don't get I'm weird. I'm 32 years old. Don't get weird. Exercising for time. Yes, yes. Like, come on. Everything. How do you want to phrase it that Max, makes it not sound silly? Get a gurney. She she thinks there's something outside of CrossFit. She's like, crazy. What? Like, we're, Max, in, this, get, we're in such call a the bubble. Med, call the medical. We are call in medical. this great bubble where it's like, yeah. Let's win exercise. Yes, yeah. yeah and like, sure, yeah. that's really cool. But like, yeah, there are other things in life. And like, you know what? Name one. Name one. Oh God, I, 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 I keep it. <laughs> um, and like, you know, like. Are you married? I'm not. No. Oh. No. And you don't have kids. I have no kids. And you think that there's something outside of. Foster. I know. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Like my family still. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. oh gosh. Do you have siblings? I do have a sibling. A, a boy yeah. or a girl? It's a boy. Is he he's cool? uh, two years young. Oh, you know, he's way cooler than me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Of course. That's not that hard though. You're pretty cool. <laughs> but like, I mean, I still get to look out there in the stands. And, like my parents are sitting there, like huge smiles on their face, right? Like they don't care. Like sure, it's fun to win and it's fun to watch people win. But like, I'm 32 years old and they're watching me play exercise on a worldwide stage on TV. Yeah. How cool. That's cool. You know? well, I said to Belner yesterday, we were in his hotel room afterwards, I said, dude, you actually remind me of Magic Johnson, and I've worked with Magic. Oh, wow. Okay. Because Magic would smile and be cool, but then he would kick your butt. Yep. And, oh, yeah. that, and that Belner would smile and just oh, yeah. keep moving. Yeah, but he's fierce, man, for yeah. sure. All right, thank you, sir. See you, dude. Oh, See you. Yeah. Thank you, Gordon. You catch that Captain Awkward moment right there? You can't all be winners. Have you tried going in those last five good nights? No, I'm not sure how tall they were last year, but um, yeah, I think it'll be all right. I mean, I think I get a good, good pull up there with my arms. And the biggest thing will be getting the 200-pound bag over that final log, I think. But if I can kind of get the bag raced against the log and then get underneath of it, I think I can kind of roll it over. So if some guys might only put it to the chest, you're going to put it over your head. Yeah, for sure. But I'll figure it out. Whatever way you do it, pick it up. Just be conscious of making sure that you follow through, passing so, it over. Yeah, but like having it like upright, you mean? Gentlemen, Ideally, then say the beans here for your last nine, here. five, ten. Bit, it'll probably be around here, so it's important that you get pretty much on the beam and then keep following through with it. It won't be, it won't be a toss for us. Okay, we're vertically challenged. Yeah. We're vertically challenged. Yeah.
one bit is to be great. It'll be a pop and just follow through. Because you're going to go over anyway. Follow through with it over the beam, then jump over. Yeah. Okay. Um, the first two are pretty easy. The first two you can pop over. It's just yeah. that last one you got to follow through. Yeah. yeah. So to do that two hundred on the front side. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Everything's good. So we could just watch Bremen do his sprint. Take it. Okay. It seems to be our thing. Like there's Bremen doing his twenty cal yeah. sprint, and then um, we're done. Then. Yeah. Say. One heat. Blood over blood. Yeah. All 20 guys. All 20 guys. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be fast. It, it seems to be a very challenging worker. I think that the height of the log. Vakundo, are you 5'5? Five, five? Can I throw this over your head? I'm just kidding, I'll go over your shoulder. Hmm? Holy shit. I know. And Adler. Good luck, gentlemen. Sharing that corral with the Bukowski? Nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll let him share some space with me a little bit. Is he a good corral mate? I'll kick him out if he's not. Good job. Uh, if I can get a riser for the rings. Oh, what do you say? It's a good, yeah. Ask if you get a riser for the, uh, <laughs> yeah, for the, the logs. logs. Yeah. I think maybe I'll dig a hole, Krusty. make it a little harder. Because you're going for the traumatic experience. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, like that? <laughs> I'm sure I'll retract three times before I actually start, but. Shocking three times before I start? Yeah. It didn't help for my snatch yesterday, so maybe don't <laughs> listen to me. Walking too fast. He's in such a hurry to get their ass kicked. Your mom, bump mom. Yep. That's crazy. That's so fun. God, you like that part? Oh yeah, that's the best part. Right place, right time. You guys like that part where you just bump up the athletes? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah sure. Let's go. What do they tell you? They're like, hey, line up, and they're gonna walk through there. Like, oh, no, we, we, we just did it. We're all standing really? here. We're just standing yeah. here. Fun, yeah. Dude, usually, awesome. usually once a. Uh, Games like they'll come right where we are, and so we just you know we just cheer. worked hard. We gotta get in the fun, get in the action. Yeah, that is cool. Seriously, yeah. it's not it's just impromptu. Yeah, yeah. all impromptu. Yeah, all impromptu. For the love of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's cool. They're, they're working hard. Yeah. You gotta fangirl a little bit while you're volunteering, right? Hey, we gotta pump you up too. <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys are good dudes. You guys are good dudes. Did everyone pull their weight? Is there anyone who didn't cheer? Is there any like no. interest? No. No, 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 no. I don't know. Maybe maybe go a little bit further down there. <laughs> <laughs> We are three tests away from crowning the fittest on Earth. One is known, the last two have yet to be revealed. Test number 10, it's muscle up long. And if I was Roman, this is not the event I wanted to start the day off. Five rounds for time, seven muscle logs, and then one sandbag over three ascending height logs. Four rounds of the 150. We've been waiting for a battle like this on the men's side forever. I think it's too close to call without knowing the workouts especially. Um, there's some things remaining that are in Roman's favor. We haven't seen the echo bike. There's some things remaining that are Jeff's favor. We haven't seen a barbell. After the teams have parallel bars, I would expect those. We haven't seen a jump rope. Who knows, man? It's, it's going to be fun. about every athlete get to the bags at the same time. And they have to put the bag over, move themselves in. The way to think of this is anytime they have something in their way, they have to go over. That includes on the way back to the rim. Justin Medeiros is out front while with Pat Belder and Adler and Roman Krenkov. Yella Hosta and Pat Belder will be the two men who get back for round at number two. First, Adler and Krenkov 
and Yonikowski are right behind them. Back, Roman Kernikoff is falling off the pace here, and if this stands, Jeff Randall will erase the remainder of the deficit he has to Roman Kernikoff. It could be your overall leader. Keep your eye on Yonikowski just to the right of Adler and Vellner. He is keeping pace with them, and remember, Yonikowski actually set the test record worldwide in the weighted muscle-up test for semi-final, so this guy has some incredible pulling endurance. We're coming up to the last round. Now the bat goes from 150 to 200 pounds. And if Yellow Hosta is only six to seven seconds behind these top three guys, not only is he gonna have the advantage on the logs on the back end, but with that weight and his height, that actually could be the difference maker for Yellow Hosta. Jonah Koska and Jeff Adler are on. Jonah Koska now hoisting up the 200 pound bag. Adler is right there with him. Here comes Yellow Hosta. Now Adler is slightly ahead of Jonah Koska. Remember, they have to go over that final walk and carry that bag across the finish. Lead. Roman Krennikov right now is in fifth place, tied with Pat Bell. Koski is over. Adler has the bag up. And Jeff Adler is going to win and possibly lead with two tests remaining. Because otherwise you have lanes that have win, no win. Winner, no, this was good. Jeffrey this is good. Did you, uh, did you battle to stay in the mix? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not good that he fell back for Adler. Uh, well, want we, want, we wanted more people between him and Roman. Right. That's the only issue. So right. I thought he was going to... It's This is still very good for Pat. Like He's beating a lot of people that he needs to beat. So I'm happy for Pat. I need help. Roman's too fit. <laughs> Uh, if my points are ahead, then yes, but they have to stay ahead. I don't want to wear it just once and then give it back. So I'll have to work hard, real hard. Thank you. Good, dude. Did that go according to plan? Uh, uh, I, yeah, I guess so. Uh, the plan was not to start too hot, but it's really hard to do it with very fit dudes that want to go for it beside you. But we kept it right at the at the right spot, the right pace, and uh, it paid off on the last round on the 200 bag. You gave it gave me the W. That's great. Feels great. Did you see what happened to uh, Belner? He was in the lead, and then all of a sudden you were so, in the lead. Did you yeah, see what he happened? was there, and I knew like well, on these types of events, I know I can I I'm gonna battle with Pat. That's that's my main competitor, like in that sort of event, I guess. And uh, I don't know what happened. I, by round four, it was eyes closed and push. Eyes on the red bag. That's it. And then, um, did you lose track of uh, Roman also? I lose track of everyone when I get on the field. Even even Yonikowski, even though he was like. I heard his name. Yeah. And I knew he was beside me, so I just tried to go for it, but I, I couldn't see him. Right. Uh, what he was doing. And you didn't want to see him. I uh, know. The <laughs> goal is to go fast, and if I look and lose 
half a second, that might be the half second I needed. So, uh, any um, unseen challenges while you were out there? The, and did you get to touch the logs before? No, I felt fine. Uh, I thought the last log was gonna be very high. It was high, but it wasn't as high as I thought it was gonna be. Um, I wanted to position my bag so I wouldn't struggle with the red one, and I just made it work barely. My red bag went in the middle, and I just I stepped on it, and it hurt my my ankle a little bit. But I think it's gonna be fine. So I think a lot of people were yeah because I, I put my feet right on the red bag. Don't stay there. Jeff, uh, Caroline had some concerns about the ring swinging. Did any of that end up? Uh, no. Uh, no, no, no. The wind was uh, was kind to us in the park, and uh, I had the riser, so I could just touch the ring. So if it was gonna swing, I was gonna be fine. Improving on our field, but hasn't been a good weekend on the field. Did you get a no rep? All of a sudden, I just saw you were gone. No, I missed my last muscle up. So, shades of alpaca. I'm just like, I don't know, my grip's not where it should be this weekend. And I've had a couple of those where I think I'm all right, and then the last rep catches me. And then you just like, took a break for five or 10 seconds, jump back up for one, you lose a lot of time. <laughs> and it was hard, my, my arms were gassed at the end there, like worse than I would normal. I think my fingers are making a bit of a difference. Like I'm squeezing a little harder on things. Like the bag, I was really, I felt like I was really over gripping with my hands because I'm slipping a little. But just adds up over a week, or like should be a. I, mean, I think I was probably sixth, fifth or sixth, but that should be a top three for me. And on any day, so I don't know. A little disappointing. Hopefully, I got a few people middle between me and Chandler. I made up a little ground, but a few more tries. I know who I got to stay ahead of. Hey, so. uh, and when you say you're over gripping. That's to compensate for the tears we saw earlier in the weekend? I mean, I think. I don't know. Okay. Like, maybe my grip's just not where it should be right now, and I don't know what it is, recovery or what, but that's an easy way to explain it away for me right now. So I'm kind of like, yeah, my hands are a bit fucked up, and it sucks. It's been two full days of that, three full days of it. So I think it's just starting to add up so on Pat, me. But you got fifth, and Chandler got ninth. Okay. So that's, I'm in third then. Brent, but... And the, yeah, so it's still the point spread so big today with, with 20 people, so it's still the same game. You yeah. gotta keep staying ahead of Chandler, keep staying ahead of Brent until they disappear into the background. And the only thing you know going forward is jump that there's a jump rope. Yeah, we have that heavy rope, that's it. That's it. And like, I mean, whatever you want to read into the team competition, like they had a <clears throat> they had parallettes. You know, the, the age groups had some GHDs and pistols and stuff. Like, we haven't seen any of that stuff. So, if we're expecting some of that, then we'll probably see it. But, you know, we haven't had thrusters. We haven't had GHDs. haven't had pistols. Haven't had, there's lots of stuff on the table still. So, <clears throat> I'd expect we squat one more time. Lunch. Maybe lunch, yeah. Um, um, uh, crazy workout. Yeah, dude. Beautiful, right? Thanks. Beautiful. Yeah, it was. It worked out great. And the athletes really loved it. That's, I think, a fun way to kind of frame it. It's a great test. I mean, obviously, you got to be good as fuck to be able to do that uh, and do it fast. And then the athletes coming off, they're like, that was so fun. Dallin Pepper told me that was his like, most fun event of the weekend. So, um, how long? Cool. Nice to hear. How long did, did it take to set that up? A while. That's a lot of sand. We, um, <laughs> We had originally uh, thought that we were going to run it in two heats of 10, but we thought it would be a better race to have everybody on the field all at once. So that obviously doubled the amount of sandbags we have to have out there. And that was um, a lot of sand. So 100 bags. It looked beautiful. Yeah, it was cool. It's always fun to be able to use the space and play out on a big field. Like if you have it, being able to utilize it. So I really like that. And the team event that came before that was awesome. Adrian, when you put together a workout like that, do you think 5'4", 6'6", six, six, do you think about the height of the guys? Not really, I mean within reason, you know, like we test it enough so that it's not something that's gonna absolutely stop you just due to physical attributes. So yes, in that regard, but on the other end of that, you know, there's no weight classes in CrossFit, there's no height classes in CrossFit, and that's because task accomplishment is really part of it. That's part of fitness, is like, can you get it done? And you see that, I mean, the difference between 
Cole Mertens and Brent Krakowski, very different body types, and yet here they are still on Sunday, both battling it out. Um, you know, you see that disparity sometimes, and that's okay. Uh, and yeah, are some athletes gonna have a bit of an advantage in some events because of that? Absolutely, but if we're doing our job right, that's gonna be mitigated somewhere else. Um, actually, I'll give you, that, that, a lot of that's the old inspiration from Greg. He used to say all the time, it's like, man, if you put together a workout where at the end of it, sorry, if the little guys come up to you and say, there's too much big guy stuff, and the big guys come up to you and say, hey, there's too much little guy stuff, and it's within the same session, you're like, I got it just right. <laughs> you redo this workout in five years. Yeah. Hypothetically. How much would that final sandbag be in five years? I don't know that, see, this one, to me, is not about the heaviness of it. It's about the drag race. All right. This was a way faster. This, to me, was closer to, like, Helena in the sense that everybody can do it, and it's just got a race, versus a real, like, stop you in your tracks kind of loading. So, honestly, for something like that, probably not that much. Now, if the question is how much could they handle in five years, I mean, man, it's, yeah, we'll see. They're, they're all insane. I would say just getting that hand there so that on the last one you can really toss it. The final bag and the final log, I like really took my time, walked up under it, threw it as hard as I could, and it like landed on it. So I just quickly put my hands there and gave it a push and it went over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, cool. You got it. Thanks, Noah. Yeah. Thanks, Noah. No problem. Thank you, baby. I'll take the little. Okay. Actually, pretty good. I like this workout. But I've... This weekend, I feel like the workouts I like, I haven't done well on. The ones I don't like, I've done really well on. Like the 5K, did great, didn't expect to. So this one, I expect to do good, so I hope that's what happens. <laughs> but I do like muscle-ups, and believe it or not, my coach has programmed, I'm a strength coach, he's been programming sandbag clean and jerks, and I feel like this is the exact motion. So I'm like, I'll text him after this. He'll be like, you're awesome, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, he's been programming a lot of sandbag clean and jerks and sandbag over a yoke. So I feel like this, that's very relevant for this. I won't tell anyone that till it's over. So if it goes wrong, it's my own fault because I've been practicing. <laughs> Should be fun though. Semi trucks uh, this year, so I don't I don't won't be quite that going back, but uh, it's been a, it's been a busy year. Uh, I don't know. Katie, is there a new implement coming out this year? I don't know. It's too early to tell you. And it has been a two-woman battle for the top of the overall leaderboard since Friday night. Emma Lawson and Laura Horbach trading the white leader's jersey, and right now is Lawson with 729 points. She has a 48-point cushion on Laura Horbath, and it's Ariel Lowen hanging on to the third and final spot on the podium. Emma Lawson 
Kevin, Ariel Lowe, and Alex Kazan among the leaders. Now this first log here is four feet tall. As they make their way to the second log, it is five feet tall. And then that final log, five foot, five inches. Alex Kazan and Laura Horbach are your leaders as they approach that five and a half foot log with the 100 pound back and no problem for them. And Horbach and Kazan will work their way back now for round number two. Happy. We're more than good. What? Say 
Yeah, we're more than good. Good. When I'm healthy, you know it's working. Why were Why were you getting so old? Were you crying? Yeah, I was overwhelmed. Yeah. How come your eyes aren't red? Are you sure they were, were they real tears? Yeah, they were real tears. <laughs> Everything here is real. I know it didn't go the way you planned, but you finished it out. Show who you are. Get some more to have fun with. Okay, you weren't in the right headspace getting out there. You had a couple of moments where you lost focus. Just you're gonna have fun. That. You're gonna have fun. No. You're the last two. That's what you guys do. You've earned this. I just thought that could be it. And you let it get over. It's bound to happen. I know. Nine tests, ten tests in. Okay? Yeah. So just use this time to refocus. Remember who you are. Yeah. Smile a bit. When yeah. you're ready. I will. There's some more tears that probably need to come out. You came here for this. You signed up. I don't Sign expect anything less. <laughs> the fact that it's only happening now is a little surprising. Um, tell me, tell me about being overwhelmed on the the, the crowd, the weight, the heat, <clears throat> the number of days. I just couldn't stabilize the bag. I just kept throwing it on my body and it just kept bouncing off like a basketball. Like I was trying too hard, if that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and then it's like, <clears throat> once it happens two or three times, it just like, it really gets into you mentally. <laughs> and then you see that you're falling behind and just, it got the best of me today. So. Did you feel the emotion coming up? Were you like, yeah. and you're like, oh shit, what are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> and I just try to go back into my, you know, like it's a race, right? So you don't just want to stay in your own lane the whole time. But when things start going like awry, it's like you kind of have to channel just back into your own lane and just at that point run your own race. So I just let it get away from me. Did you feel like you didn't lock out or? No, that's but it was okay. <laughs> I was like, well, there goes the workout. At the at least out. still. No, I mean like the middle, at least being in the middle of the pack or like staying with the pack, sure. you know. <laughs> but that's all right. Sorry. No, you move. I, once you once you figured out or had the confidence to be able to run with it on the shoulder and go straight over, that saved a lot of time. Yeah. It just, just took a round or two. Yeah. It was like so round that it was like hard to pick up. Yes. Like on the rest I was like, I can't pick it up. It's bad. Yeah. 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 The, the 125 looked pretty good. Probably my best round. <laughs> well, other than having to pick it up. She kept saying you kept getting better as it went on. Yeah. Like if it was like seven rounds, I actually think it might have been better. That's why I think personally for me, for like warm ups, I like to do like multiple rounds of stuff in a row because like I get better yeah, as I go. So you just didn't have enough time. Yeah. <laughs> like, we keep running out of time. I know. I need to start earlier. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll just kind of talk about the previous test, test 10 here, and then kind of ask you a segue into not knowing in the last two workouts and how we're feeling about just our strategy and game plan moving forward. Yeah. Beth, cool. Did you do it? No. No. I withdrew before it. Yeah. Uh, and what did you do? What was the final decision? I, uh, well, I was warming up doing pull-ups and push-ups, and I couldn't really do them properly. So I didn't, couldn't do a muscle-up. So yeah, I wasn't going to go out there and stand under the rings. So. Uh, did you have a good cry? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. But I don't know. It's one of those things is what it is. And I just wasn't, you know, willing to put my whole body on the line like that. Are they going to let you uh, hang with the girls? Uh, well, I'm going to go over to the Coliseum because they have like a scan, the medical of a scan thing over there. So I might as well get all that done here and then right. see what we're working with. Okay. So yeah. Cool. Well, you seem good. You don't look like you had a good career. So. <laughs> I think it, I wiped my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Can't, can't waste too many tears, eh? Is there any uh, sense of relief? Or no? Uh, no, like I was, like it was so fun. I was enjoying it. Like, yeah, you've got pressure, but it was uh, it's a fun weekend. And now, like, I just enjoy competing, so I'm just gutted. But 
you know, there's other comps and life goes on, so we'll carry on with that. Yeah, and, and like you were saying, you don't want to spend another year and be... Like, I, I, yeah, yeah, a hundred, like, I know what that's like, and I just am not willing to go through that again right now. So, you know, take the wins with the losses. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.